probably should have put makeup on or whatever for this video beforehand, but today is just not the day. But I do need to make this video. So a few things uh, to keep in mind when booking an appointment with me, okay? Can't make a video without the pets going stupid. All right, so um, first things first, uh, I, I mostly really only do mediumship. My psychic skills, I'm working on it, but um, yeah, I prefer like mediumship is what I feel confident in. So um, I do 15 minute and half hour appointments. Uh, 15 minutes is great if you just want to hear from one person. Uh, you just want dear old grandma to come through, um, maybe dad, whoever. Because um, honestly, most most messages I can get through in 15 minutes. I may change that to 20 minutes, you know, at some point. But for right now, it's, it's just 15 minutes. Um, I also do 30-minute appointments. Now I suggest those if you want more than one person to come through. You want to hear from, you know, grandma and grandpa and great-grandpa and maybe mom or dad or whatever, then I suggest a half-hour appointment. Um, also, if you are booking an appointment, this is very important, if you're booking an appointment for like an unsolved murder missing person kind of deal, I definitely suggest the half hour. That is going to take longer. Um, sorry, my dog in the background there. <laughs> um, that's definitely going to take longer. Um, and it's going to take me a little longer to like tune in and because things just kind of come a little bit at a time, if that makes sense. So that was the other thing I wanted to bring up. Um, if you book an appointment with me and you only want a phone appointment, you're going to hear periods of silence. Um, if I'm on the video, then you, if, you know, if we do Zoom or whatever, then you can tell, like, I'm kind of closing my eyes, I'm tuning in, trying to see what I'm picking up. Um, the way mediumship works for me, sometimes I hear things, sometimes they show me images, but it's usually never both at the same time. I might hear something, and then I might close my eyes, and then I'll they'll show me an image. Um, that's specifically how I also do it with like unsolved murders, uh, missing persons, that kind of thing. Um, I will normally close my eyes um, and see what they show me. I, From the previous people who have booked readings with me for unsolved murders, um, usually what the person is showing me is what they saw. It's usually like the last thing they saw. So just keep in mind, sometimes I only see the back of a person. I can tell you, okay, they were kind of tall, kind of thin, um, broad shoulders, skinny, whatever. Looks like darker colored hair or light colored hair. Um, there was one instance where I saw two men. Uh, it was like a robbery type thing <clears throat> gone wrong, turned into a murder. And they were grabbing like a TV and, and something else big, I think it was a computer or something, and running out like a, a sliding glass door. So I could only give the description of what they were wearing, what kind of color hair they had, their build, but I didn't get a good look at their face. Um, but there's been others where they've given me a clear vision of their face, and unfortunately I wish I could draw so I could kind of draw the face, but I, unfortunately I don't have that skill. Um, but I will describe it to you the best I can, and afterwards, if I need to, um, some people have sent text messages of, you know, the certain color, uh, hair color that I was looking for, or the curliness, or whatever, types of build, things like that. Um, so just something to keep in mind. I'll let you know, uh, you know, uh, ask you during the reading if you're okay with texts afterwards, if I can try to find some images to give you a clearer idea um, <clears throat> of like hair color, body build, that kind of thing. Um, so it just depends. Sometimes I think the spirit is showing me, so far that's what it appears to be. So far they are showing me what they saw. Um, so sometimes it's clear, sometimes it's not. Um, and there was a, another person who booked a reading with me for like a drive-by type of thing. <clears throat> um, I was able to pick up how many people were in the car. Uh, there was a female in the car. Um, she didn't seem like she knew what was about to happen or that she agreed with, with being in the car while this was happening. I could hear the tone in her voice, if that makes sense. 
um, but I couldn't hear any words. But also the spirit was not able to hear any legible words either. So um, he just kind of picked up on that tone of voice also and kind of showed me that. So it's not perfect. Uh, sometimes I can only see what they saw. Um, so just some things to keep in mind. Also, I suggest having a notebook and a pen or paper. Uh, well, pen and paper or notebook or whatever. Um, keep some notes. Write some notes down. Uh, there may be things that I say that might not resonate that will resonate later. Um, what well, might make sense later. Um, also, that just it's always good to keep notes and and look back on the reading, um, especially weeks or a couple of months later, things might make sense. Um, and also, you just might forget certain things that I brought up. So I always suggest like have a notebook um, and write things down. I might actually start doing the same. I might get a notebook and start keeping notebooks of, I usually don't keep notes of my readings, um, but I have had a couple of people come back like after a couple of weeks or a couple of months and be like, hey, do you remember me? And I will tell you, it's kind of like a mechanic, okay? So you know how when you take your mechanic to the car, or uh, your car, I can't talk this morning. When you take your car to the mechanics, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Hold on. And you'll be like, hey, this is Sable. I was wondering if you could do my brakes. They're like, who? You're like, you know, I drive the uh, green Dodge Durango. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember you. They remember you by your car. So I'm very similar. I will remember you by the spirit that came through. <laughs> so, um... Another thing just to keep in mind, but yeah, I definitely suggest getting a, um, a pen and paper, you know, uh, have in mind also who you want to hear from. I've had a couple of people book appointments and then they're like, oh, I didn't even think about who I wanted to hear from. Well, it's a mediumship appointment. So think of ahead of time people that you may want to hear from. I can tune in and see who's around you and start kind of, or see who comes through. Um, and kind of start describing them. Um, but it, it's always good to have somebody in mind specifically. That way I can just tune into that person and try to pull that person directly through. Occasionally other people will come through, though. I know uh, one lady asked for, um, I think it was a dad to come through. And so I started describing him and she went, oh, wrong dad it was like stepdad that came through rather than dad or vice versa I forget but um, you know so sometimes that'll happen um, but yeah just a, a quick little note to kind of prepare you for a reading for me um, now you know like <clears throat> pardon me um, 15 minutes are great for just one person but like I said anything more complicated or more people you want to book the half hour appointment Occasionally they will run over. Um, that's okay. I don't charge extra if they run over. I try to keep it within that time limit, but occasionally they will run over. So, um, and just have a pen and paper ready and hope for the best. Hope for the best experience possible, right? All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day.